So what a day. I managed to get through a huge amount today. Um, so it's been a bonus. Uh, I'm really, really happy. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just being able to uh, save to grab a quick, uh, you know, a quick glass so I can actually have a drink. So uh, yeah, it's obviously now going dark, uh, which is uh, happens every single night, unfortunately. Imagine if we stay light, it'd be amazing. So yeah, crack on tomorrow. Um, so that's the plan. Never ever, never ever stop really. It's uh, even when I do stop, it's always like thinking about what's what I'm gonna do next. Like, oh, well, yeah, it's nice to be able to have a bit of downtime whereby you know, say, sat in the mill, just like you know, take it all in really. You know, we look all in front of me, all the glass. It's it's it's, it's impressive, like. I've managed to achieve all the glass replacement on my floor, except for the ones behind me, obviously. But, uh, but yeah, the water tends to come from this side, then, uh, you know, in the end. So, uh, yeah, it's getting there. You know, the derelict mill is no longer derelict. And uh, when someone lives in it, does that mean it's derelict? Well, I'm... This is like my first day of actually having a proper drink. Um, I haven't quite got a kitchen yet, but uh, yeah, my kitchen there, uh, I will build a kitchen and uh, yeah, my next plan is to get a shower. How I'm gonna shower here is uh, the next little mission. Um, there's no running water, which uh, is a bit of an issue. I did uh, like, I had to try and think about obviously how I maybe speak to the fire, the fire, the fire brigade and say, guys, can you just, uh, when you next time doing an inspection here, can you just bring your fire engine and fill, fill my tank up with water? So, so yeah it's all good so i'm yeah really content and happy and uh obviously yeah uh, it's just nice to sit, just sit here and just look around and just watch the daylight go from the uh obviously from the windows and yeah i love it how like when i first moved in here it's kind of like full of birds and down you know, full of birds it was completely derelict and now it's kind of like not derelict it's uh, it's become like quite a uh, it's, it's actually become a piece of art now which is uh, what I quite like about the whole place it's like this old uh, old building that's been empty for 50 years and uh, now I've currently taken taken uh, control of it it's uh, pretty uh, it's pretty impressive so What I should do is I should haze the whole place out, smoke the whole place out, just so I see this like haze coming through all the windows. And that that's what cool. So I get like a like, like a mannequins positioned around the place with like uh, dressed up as like uh, you know clowns, like just holding like hammers and like you know chainsaws and just make it like really really like quite a theater the theater based like horror. So. Anyway, so yeah, it's quite, uh, it's really nice. So uh, quite a few people have been saying to me about obviously about life and about obviously, about obviously, you know, do I feel lonely? And uh, it's a fair view. Like life for me is not about loneliness. Like I don't even have time to get lonely. It's, it's all go. <laughs> it's never, there's never a moment in my life where I think to myself, uh, yeah, it's uh, never ending. Like, you know, like now I'm just about to literally, you know, just finish off my drink, finish off this record. Uh, obviously, pack away uh, all my tools, get them loaded outside. Uh, obviously, I don't leave tools on site because there's no point because I'll just get robbed. So, uh, but, uh, but yeah. But even to on like even just to walk around and just see what I've actually achieved with my time being here, it's uh, yeah, it's awesome. Like it's awesome. So yeah, I don't really have time to get lonely. Uh, lonely is, I think, is a mindset issue again. Like, if you feel lonely, then you need to go out and do more in life. Um, I, there have been times in my life where I have felt like, you know, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, now to, uh, you know, to cuddle somebody in bed or, you know, to spend more time out and about. But is it? Like, the problem I've got is you go through the motions of that and you kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you meet somebody and you have a really nice time with somebody and, 
you know, you really got his motions that, you know, plays out to be one of those things that he never, ever succeeds. So, and then what's the answer is, is then you find out that obviously you're so engrossed and so involved that, you know, it's kind of like, what are we? And it's kind of like, uh, yeah, well, at least met you. Yeah, you, you met me a month later, you know, trying to put a badge on it. And then it's kind of like, oh, okay, great, awesome. So, uh, and then you're obviously involved in a, uh, obviously a, a relationship. And then before you know it, you know, it's kind of like two years later, it's kind of like, so are you gonna propose to me? Uh, <laughs> what proposed to you? Yeah, I might propose to you, and then obviously my life's going to uh, go going to uh, shit them. So uh, yeah, all I can say is, if people are single in life, try and remain single as best you possibly can. It's uh, like it's literally amazing. Like it's a fair view. Well, it is for me anyway. But it's like I uh, don't have to answer anybody. I just literally turn up, fly around the world. I hope renovate meals. <laughs> yeah, I tend to do whatever I want on a daily basis just because basically I can, basically, so. Some people will say I'm not winning in life, but actually, realistically, am I winning in life? I think I might be winning. So. Yeah, so it's been one of those days that uh, I woke up and uh, it was miserable outside and uh, it was kind of like, what are we going to do? Can't work outside really because I'm gonna get wet through, and then I feel like cold, and I'd be like, "Jinx, I'll, I'll just go and spend money on coffees." And today's one of those days I haven't lit the fire yet, so uh, yeah, the fire behind me hasn't been yet been lit. So I was like, "Yep, yeah, doesn't happen yet." And uh, yeah, now it's going dark. It's kind of like nice to see just the atmosphere, just like all the daylight dropping, and then uh, me getting darker. So uh, yeah. I think I've done those. I have uh, cleared uh, more of the steps. I have cleared more of the staircase, and uh, not only that, uh, I fit the glass. So uh, the floors that were flooded are no longer flooded because guess what? I fit the glass. So uh, yeah, that's the floor below me. So uh, yeah, I feel a lot more happier than the fact though that I fit more glass in the floor below me. It just means that obviously uh, there's less water coming in, so uh, there's less chance of uh, my floor falling through, which is. <laughs> I know I laugh about it, but it's actually quite a senior thing, really. It's kind of like a bit of, oh, I wouldn't say worry, but uh, or fear, because I, I don't have worries or fears, but would I much rather have the floor giving way below me or the floor collapsing in front of me, like that floor above me collapsing? At least if the floor above me collapses, at least I can move out of the way. If the floor goes below me, yeah, it's a bit of a different ball game. It's, uh, yeah, I would much rather the floor above me collapse than uh, the floor below me collapse, I must admit. That's the mentality that I've got at the moment. So, obviously, not that that's going to happen because of uh, you know I'll make sure it doesn't happen. But there is always that possibility that things like that might happen. So uh, the mill is actually in a really bad state. I'm not going to lie to you. After all of the uh, after all of the you know all of the exploration, you know, exploring that I've exploration. After all the exploring that I've done um, in my uh, time, and uh, obviously all the delicate buildings and all the places I've broken in, broken into. Sorry, not broken into, explored. Um, the this has probably got to be the, probably one of the worst ones I've actually uh, kind of like lived in. So uh, yeah, it's uh, not in a good way. It's actually quite worrying that when I first came in here when I was a kid, kid, it was an amazing nick, it was a much better nick. Unfortunately, when I was a kid, I didn't have a phone, so I couldn't record it. But uh, coming back in here during lockdown and. Uh, and now going back in here two years after lockdown, it uh, makes me think, uh, yeah, it's actually interesting that the damage that's happened between the two years of lockdown and here, I didn't realize, but uh, when I came in, it wasn't as bad. Well, I don't believe it was as bad, but uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, it looks, uh, it looks worse now than it did to you before, two years ago, so. But yeah, it's about, uh, Give it time, really. That's all I'm gonna say. Give it time, and uh, yeah, I'll turn this place around. Like, it's interesting that uh, 50 years later, it's uh, now occupied by me. <laughs> like, imagine back in the day, 50 years ago, when obviously people were using it. It's kind of like it's wild because when this was used as a mill, 
this would be like 24 hours a day, seven day, days a week. People would turn up at like 5 a.m. in the morning and uh, be up at four in the local town. They would obviously come to the work at 5 a.m. And uh, yeah, they'd actually work all the way through until like, you know, 12 hours, 14 hour shifts, making uh, clothing like cotton. Sorry, not cotton, silk. Maybe it doesn't be too cotton here. But, uh, but yeah, it was all silk. It was obviously an old silk, silk, silk well, artificial silk. So yeah, it's really, uh, it's interesting actually. It's interesting. It's actually in the basement. It's actually got the old dipping tank. It's actually got the old tank downstairs. They used to do all the dye dipping. That's still in, that's still downstairs now, which, you know, it's, it's really interesting. So uh, there's also a tank out on the outside of the mill as well, which I believe that might be in uh, some sort of like dye. A dye dipping place. It's actually a tank that's actually outside. It's, it must be in there. I think it must be in like a wooden structure around it. But uh, there's no pictures of it. But there's a, there's a tank outside next to the powerhouse, which is uh, obviously being rubbed out. It's actually quite nice actually because in this mill now there's nothing actually in it, in it. It's literally it's just brick, wooden, and steel girders. It's the only thing inside here now keeping the building as a building. Uh, with a few aqua props and obviously a few bits of wi in but like there's nothing there's nothing in here there's no there's no copper there's nothing to nick which is uh phenomenal really so well well yeah there's a tv behind me well yeah what, what, what's that tv worth <laughs> like If you decide to make it a TV, I just end up posting it on YouTube and I get a load more views. So uh, yeah, it's not worth it. That's 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 the hilarious bit bit about this. So uh, one thing I have worked out is, is the sewerage works. I've gone and gone. I've gone and done a bit of putting in more water. So uh, yeah, sewerage actually works. So uh, I can get a toilet fitted. I can sort out a uh, shower, which is uh, yeah, which is great. And uh, yeah, look forward to it. We'll crack on really. It's uh, my uh, my apartment, which is uh, great. The thing I do need to sort out is, is where the uh, where the bridge goes over the uh, where the bridge goes over to the to the uh, other mill. I need to do quite a lot of work on that next because at the moment there's water pouring through the ceiling. So uh, yeah, I need to try and stop the water from pouring through. So uh, yeah, the only way I can do that is to uh, go down the road, cover it up. how I'm gonna do that really in a minute. So right, oh yeah, I'm gonna have this drink and then uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty well uh, pretty well sort myself out and uh, watch the sun go down and uh, see where we go from there. So cheers <laughs>